Hello guys, this is Jericho from Line Table Screen Printing. For today's video guys, we will show you different kind of print stroke. This is an actual print video, so we will do push stroke, pull stroke, and we will try also with LAD before printing. So let's see what is the best outcome print. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back guys, so we're here on our production area and let's ready our shirt and screen and we will pick design that have straight edges so we can compare our print stroke. The design that will be printed today is Nirvana. The first print stroke we will do is push, hit gun, push, cure. How to do the push stroke? To do it, you need to lower the angle of the squeegee like this. And you need to put pressure on the squeegee when you push it. After we print the first coating, we're going to dry it using heat gun so that if we print the second coating, the ink will not stick on the screen. Now let's print the second coating. Then let's cure it using our conveyor. Let's clean it first before we proceed to next print stroke that we're going to show you. Now let's do the second print stroke which is full hit gun pull pure. In pull stroke, you need to higher the angle of the squeegee like this. And you need to put a lot of pressure on the squeegee when you pull it. To understand how push stroke and pull stroke work, we have a video regarding this. It will explain more about push stroke and pull stroke. You can watch it if you are interested and I will put the link in the description. Now let's dry it using our heat gun. Now let's print it again using pull stroke. Then let's cure it again in the conveyor. So let's clean it again. We do this so that if we do the next print stroke, there is no ink that left behind the screen and we can avoid ink smudge.
In our third print stroke, we will combine the two stroke. Push, hit gun, pull, cure. So first, let's do the push stroke. Then dry it again using heat gun. The next is let's do the pull stroke. Then let's cure it in the conveyor. Before we check the t-shirt that we print, let's try another method of printing. We're going to plot it first before we print it. Before we start printing, let's clean the screen again. Then let's try flood, push, hit gun, then flood, push, cure. After we clean the screen, the next method we will do is flood, pull, hit gun, flood, pull, cure.
The last method of print stroke we will do is flood push heat gun flood pull cure. After we cured this last print, let's get all the t-shirt that we printed and see the outcome or quality of the print. So first, let's see the push heat gun push cure print. You can see the edges is sharp, there's no smudge, but sometimes if the print is not consistent, there's a chance that the print will smudge. If you look closely, there's some part that looks a little smudged but it's not noticeable. And the thickness is good, so let's go to next print. This print is Pull Heat Gun Pull Cure. I think the sharpness of this one is better than the other one. You can see it have a good straight line and every edges is sharp. There's no smudge at all. So I think this is the best outcome print. But before we conclude, let's see the next print. So this print is Push Heat Gun Pull Cure. I think this print method is really bad. You can see every edges have smudges and it is noticeable. Even you don't look closely, you can see it. So I think we cannot do this on screen printing. So if you're going to print on the t-shirt, make sure that you only pick one method of print stroke so you can avoid smudges like this. Now let's see the print with flooding. So this is flood push heat gun flood push cure print. I think the sharpness is just the same on push heat gun push cure but without flood. Uh, the only I noticed that the ink deposit on the t-shirt is more than the without blood. So let's see the next print method. This print is blood pool heat gun blood pool cure. There's no difference between blood and without blood, but still I think that the sharpness of the full stroke method is still better. You can see it in our print. Now let's see what happened in our next print. So this is the flood push heat gun flood pull cure. The quality is still bad and because it have more ink deposit on the t-shirt, it have more smudges at the bottom of the edge of the design. So it's still not advisable to do this. So that's it guys, here's all the printed that we do and I think the best print outcome is the full stroke print even in with LAD. The full stroke print have better sharpness, uh, push stroke print is also good but still the winner for us is the full stroke. So if you have a questions regarding this you can leave a comment below and we will answer it. Thank you guys. So that's it guys, if you like our video, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to update you if we have new video in our channel, Lion Table Screen Printing. Thank you very much for watching.